Hey, what's up? This is one little coder. Can an open source large language model challenge ChatGPT or can it perform to a level that is closer to ChatGPT? Because ChatGPT is from a company called OpenAI, which is not open anymore about the ChatGPT model. So is there a possibility to develop open source language models, especially large language models that can give chat GPT level performance. And that is a question that a lot of people have been asking. So I am also on the same quest to find open source models that can give us performance like chat GPT, but can be run on local computer. Like you don't need fancy supercomputers to run it, but you can run it on local computers where you have got decent RAM, like even on Google Colab. So the same quest has taken me to a new model called Raven. Raven is a model that is from another big large language model called RWKV. It's called Wakuf. Ruakuv is a 100% RNN, recurring neural network based model. That's another surprising factor about this model. People have been developing large language models based on transformers architecture. It all started from transformers, a paper from Google and um, the BERT based models have been powering a lot of these kind of new innovation in large language model space. In fact, the T in GPT stands for transformers. So transformers based models have been the craze of AI recently. But right now there is a new model or new architecture based on recurrent neural network, which a lot of people have been thinking that it is a thing of a past, but RNN is making a comeback here with this new model RWKV, which is pronounced as Ruakuf. So this model is an RNN with the transformer level performance, a large language model performance where it can be trained directly like GPT and it is 100% attention free. The first paper is called attention is all you need. And what is the best thing about this model? So this combines the best of RNN world and transformer world, which means you have got greater performance, faster inference, and it saves VRAM, which means in a lesser GPU, you can run this model. They've also mentioned fast training. So that has given rise to a lot of fine tuning happening with this model. Also, they've mentioned infinite context length. I don't know how it works. I've not tested this, but overall, this looks like an interesting direction in this entire large language model journey. But I don't want to bore you with all these details. I'm going to show you the demo where somebody has used this RWKV model, fine tuned it on Alpaca dataset. Alpaca is the dataset that is has been released by Stanford where they try to fine tune the Facebook's Llama model. So it is an instruction data set. So what they have done is they've taken the RWKV Ruakuv model on Alpaca data set and that is the chatbot that we have got which is Raven. So now this is quite interesting because when I tested this chatbot or when I tested this model called Raven which is a low open source model you can literally go here and then you know see where the model is on a hugging face model so this model looks quite an interesting model to me and then i decided to test this model especially on certain things that i like chat gpt doing really good so what i went and asked this model is this and let me zoom in and the first thing that i'm going to ask this model is why write a joke about elon musk so this is something that i always ask chat gpt to give me some creative answers in this case write a joke about elon musk and this is the joke that it gave why did Elon Musk go to the store? Because he wanted to buy a Tesla. Okay, let me change it again. Let me ask the same question again. Right now it's running on T4 and you can see how fast it is even on T4. And uh, and it's, it's like I said, it is it is an RWKV Ruakuv model that is fine tuned on Stanford Alpaca. Why did Elon Musk have a hard time at school? Because he kept forgetting to take out the batteries. It's actually funny. So he kept forgetting to take out the batteries. So that's why Elon Musk um, had a hard time in school. It's, it's quite good. So now what I'm going to try this model with is I'm going to test this model with a couple of questions like, um, give me five restaurant recommendations in Bangalore. So this is something that chat GPT actually does well. And I want to see how this model is going to do, which in this case, I don't know if it has the information about, um, like Bangalore related data, but Let's assume that it has got that information and let's see what kind of information, what result it is going to give me for this. So it's giving me five restaurants. Honestly, I'm not sure if it is actually hallucinating or these restaurants actually exist in Bangalore, but it has given me five information. That's good. So the way you can also approach this large language model is you have different options. You can give an instruction very similar, like what do you set a context with the GPT-4 models? So we can set an instruction and then we can ask something. So I'm going to set an instruction. You are a, an English teacher. You help me fix my grammatical 
mistakes okay and i'm going to give a sentence here my input sentence is my friends is really great people okay so i'm going to send this message so what i expect this large language model here raven to do is i wanted to fix my friends is really great people into my friends are really great people and you can see that on a t4 machine it took 18 seconds approximately or probably lesser than that to fix this to the right sentence and as you can see that my friends is really great people has been fixed into my friends are really great people so this is in english teacher now let's say you are my history teacher you help me understand historical historical information okay let me say socrates and send this message so now we have set the context where we want this to be history teacher and we wanted to help us understand historical information and i just gave the input as socrates and as you can see that it has given me the details about socrates he also had a reputation of speaking out against the corruption of Athenian government and spoke out, out against injustice. Quite good. Let me go ask somebody else. I, I can ask Mahatma Gandhi. Okay, so I've given Mahatma Gandhi as an input. So Mahatma Gandhi was a great leader who fought for India's independence from British rule. He's remembered for his non-violent protest and he believed in equality, justice and human rights and he led example led by example by leading a simple life with few possessions. Great. I believe this model is great. One final thing that I want to test is the mathematics. So that has been always the issue with ChatGPT. You are my math teacher. Help me solve my math problems. If you are unsure, please say I don't know. Okay. Let's start with the math problem. Let me end with the dot so that the prompt is fine. Let me give a question. Um, the very simple question 22 into 3 and submit this question. I assume most likely it would do bad because I didn't test this before the video. It did really good. So 23 into 3, it did 66. So let me do of plus 2. So the parenthesis means 66 plus 2. It should be 68. Once again, I think it might do wrong, but let's see. Okay, it did wrong. That's quite expected. Let me give this question to chat GPT and then see what it can do now. So I can paste this. It's I'm testing it on GPT 3.5 just to be, you know, be conservative. So you multiply 68. Okay, so the chat GPT has given me a right example. In fact, it says PEM dash. Okay, and it has given me the result of 68. That's good. So let me ask, write a joke about write a joke about Elon Musk and let's see what it does okay it's it's it, why why did Elon Musk break up with his girlfriend because he wanted space oh that's that's nice okay so let me ask write a joke about Elon Musk let me ask the same question you you are a comic you help me in creating jokes and I'm going to paste this. Why did Elon Musk break up with break up with his girlfriend? Let's see what it says. So we have set a context that it should be a comic and uh, we have said you help me in creating jokes. Elon Musk broke up with his girlfriend because he was no longer att attracted to her. He had grown tired of her and wanted to explore other relationships. Uh, it doesn't sound like a joke. Okay, so let me say something else. Write a joke on the following topic that's the instruction and i'm asking the same question why did elon musk break up with his girlfriend and um, probably somebody there is on the queue exploring the same hugging face paces so at the end of this video i'll link this hugging face paces in the youtube description you can directly check it out and also i'll link the <laughs> i'll link the model um, from github in the youtube description you can check it out it it, it is still um, you know, quite serious. It says Elon Musk was having a hard time getting over his girlfriend. He kept asking her out. She always turned him down. So one day he decided to break up by giving her a present of an apple and a note that read, Dear Elon, I'm sorry, but I don't think this is going to work out between us. Sincerely, your ex-girlfriend. It's not a joke, um, but it, it still sounds funny. I'm going to try one last time. 
write a joke on i can say tell me a joke probably that is an instruction that works fine tell me a joke on why did elon musk break up with his girlfriend so one last time i'm going to ask this question before i'm going to go to the <laughs> because she wanted to travel the world he wanted to stay home and work on his rockets okay it doesn't give me the exact answer but it's still funny um so the joke exists like because i i could feel it uh, it's all with the default settings i didn't play with the token count i didn't play with temperature but i think this is an exciting direction in the same entire large language model space not because it's recurring neural network but also because you know you can um, the magic of chat gpt has been the reinforcement learning with human feedback and uh, now people are trying to fine tune and this alpaca data set has been like really the find um, so people have been trying to fine tune any model that has been available with them on alpaca using methods like lora and pift so it looks like at this at least at this point this looks like in a very interesting model so one of the reason why i made this video is because i want more people to know about this and then try this and give me the feedback about what do you feel about this model do you really think this is a good chat gpt equivalent because in a lot of cases i found this really good creative gives me really good answer like things that i have been enjoying with chat gpt so let me know in the comment section what do you feel about this model like i said i will link this hugging face spaces and also the model link in the youtube description so you can directly check out and then play with this model see you in another video happy prompting